a strawberry shortcake snake. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. First thing you're going to do is make the shortcake mixture. That is two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of confectioner's sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and then just whisk those things together. And then you're gonna add in one half cup of butter or margarine. I put it in cubed, and then you're gonna blend it in either using a pastry blender, or in this case, I'm just using a butter knife. You're gonna cut in the butter until you get something that looks like coarse oatmeal. And you can get in there with your fingers to make sure that all the butter has broken up into small pieces. And then you're gonna stir in one cup of milk and you're gonna stir until it is just combined and then you will stop. Now this is gonna be quite sticky. Put some flour on your countertop, sprinkle it with a little bit of flour. And what you need to do is pat it into a rectangle shape that is about an inch and a half thick or so and about six by eight, something like that. This size is not exact. It doesn't have to be exactly that. Take a sharp knife and you're gonna cut it into two or three strips depending on the size that you want. I, kind of, I cut mine into three strips. And then you'll take each strip and place them on a cookie sheet cover with a silicone mat or parchment. And you're gonna twist it into a snake shape or an S shape. And I ended up tapering one end and try, so I'm trying to make one look like a head and one look like a tail. And I was able to fit all three onto one cookie sheet. And then you're gonna bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 to 12 minutes until the bottoms are just golden brown. I had some puff pastry in the freezer that I wanted to use up. So I thought I would try to make a couple of snakes using puff pastry instead of a shortcake. So I rolled out the puff pastry into a long flat rectangle and then I just cut it into slices using a pastry wheel. I cut the ends tapered like little v-shapes and then I twisted it into an s shape which is kind of a challenge with this stuff. It's not really easy and then I baked it at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes 20 minutes until it was golden brown and leaf flaky and puffy. And as you will see, the S shape I made uh, came right out. So there was very little S shape after they were baked. So I fit two of them on a cookie sheet and baked them. And as you can see, there, here's one that's baked. The S shape didn't stay very well. It kind of straightened out. So you really have to exaggerate that S shape with puff, puff pastry. Then you gently cut it in half after it's cooled. And you get two pieces. And then you'll take some strawberries and just slice them into slices. And here's the shortcake one. The shortcake one, you have to be a little bit more gentle with because it'll want to break on you. So be gentle when you're slicing it in half. Then for both puff pastry and shortcake snake, take some whipped cream. I'm using Cool Whip in this case. Spread some on the snake. Add some strawberries. Then you're going to top it with the other piece of shortcake or puff pastry, whatever you're using. I added more whipped cream on the top and then I topped it with some more sh strawberries and just add them so they look, they kind of look like scales on the snake. This is kind of what I wanted them to look like. Add them all over until it's completely covered. And for the head, we're going to use one large strawberry, keeping the little green cap on it. And to decorate it, we're going to put in miniature M&Ms for eyes. And all you have to do is press them into the strawberry and they'll stay. And for the tongue, I'm using a little bit of fruit roll up or fruit by the foot. I just cut it with a pair of scissors, make a little slit with a knife into the strawberry and just press it into the strawberry and you have a little forked tongue on your snake. Now out of the two, I preferred the texture of the puff pastry snake because it was flaky and kind of crunchy when you bit into it. Um, the shortcake snake, which you're going to see next, has not much sugar in it. So if you have a sweet tooth like mine, I found it not sweet enough. There was just a lot missing to it. So what I would have done is I probably would have put 
cut the shortcake in half, put some jam down, strawberry jam or strawberry preserves. Then I would add in whipped cream and strawberries and so on. And I might even drizzled a little bit of strawberry syrup or chocolate syrup over top each serving piece. But that's a personal preference thing and that'll be completely up to you. Now, obviously, depending how big you make these snakes will depend on whether it's a single serving size or not, or if you're gonna have one snake serving maybe two or three people. Thanks for watching. A very special thank you goes out to all my current subscribers. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for leaving me the great comments that you always leave me. I really appreciate it. And for those of you that are not subscribed, all you have to do is click on that red subscribe button and you'll be notified of any new uploads. And I make videos every single week. Bye-bye.